The first thing you notice is the smell, or more correctly, the lack of one, coming from the tailpipes of these new buses. We're getting reductions of particulate matter, hydrocarbons, uh, NOx emissions there. So they're, they're cleaner. Renu Chakrabarty works in the DEP's Division of Air Quality. She says money for the project comes from the U.S. EPA's National Clean Diesel Campaign, which supports projects aimed at reducing diesel exhaust. When we got this latest influx of, of funding, started looking around for sources, and we found out Fayette County was interested. And um, so we started talking from there. The program works like this. Schools provide matching funds up front to purchase the new buses. As for the old buses, they're taken off the road forever. They can't just sell them at auction and where well, they go out someplace and get used for another couple decades. Instead, what we have them do is they, they completely have to demolish those buses. And demolish they did. Fayette County chose to scrap four 11-year-old buses. They only asked for a drill a hole in the, the uh, engine. Well, they crushed the engine. And they actually cut the whole body up and shipped it through a shredder. So that was great to watch it happen. But the county didn't come away empty-handed. The impact wasn't horrible on us because, the, you know, we received recycling money for, for that, those materials, which generated about half of what those buses would have sold if we would have sold them in auction and continue to pollute the environment. So it, it wasn't a negative impact. Normally after we deal with our buses, we're getting anywhere from four to $5,000 as we sell them in auction. We were able to get almost, two, we got $2,000 a bus to, to scrap them. And, 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 and kind enough, I, you know, we were able to keep tires and things that weren't, didn't have any environmental impact. So really we recovered a lot more than that. Gary Hogue says the grant allowed the school system to nearly double the number of buses purchased this year, a significant bonus. But it's more than just that. To send a message to our children that we're being environmentally friendly, and I think as teachers and as educators in our school system, we've got to be good examples to the children. Not only do we need to teach them, but we have to demonstrate on a day-to-day -day basis that we're being environmentally friendly. Fayette County has 95 school buses in its fleet, 75 assigned to regular runs. Last year, Fayette County buses traveled roughly 1.3 million miles. In Fayetteville, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters.